Okay, what we're going to do here is install Office 2011 for Mac. Um, this was a digital download, so I purchased the software online and was able to download it straight to my Mac. Um, and this is what we're greeted with. So once the uh, download image has mounted, you'll get this. You double click on this icon. Our usual installation routine, um, some license documentation, click continue and we need to agree to the license, select your destination, continue. Now I just want to show you, you can click customize here, you've got your office fonts, automator actions, doc icons and so on, and then you've got your main package in here, so Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Messenger, Remote Desktop, Visual Basic and, and so on. So you can, if you didn't want to install one of these applications, for example, you could just uh, untick it and it will remove it. So I'm going to install the whole lot here. So we select all, um, click install, put in your password, and then we wait for the installation to complete. Okay, so the installation has completed, didn't take too long, so it took about two to three minutes. So it's quite a quick installation. Um, so we're greeted with this screen just to let us know the installation was successful. We click close to this. So at this point we need to enter our product key, um, or you can either try the software free for 30 days. So I'm just going to enter my product key and I'll be back as soon as I've done that. Okay, so once the uh, software has been activated, activation takes place online, literally took about two seconds. Once it's been activated, you were greeted with this screen where we're asked you can use existing settings or create new settings to personalize your copy of Office for Mac. Settings contain sets of information such as clips you have saved and the name or initials in comments. Um, I'm gonna start afresh. So uh, I'm gonna go with create new settings click continue so you type your first and last name I'm gonna not bother with the company name um, latest for Mac office updates will download periodically I'm not gonna bother with that I'll download them when I want to download them and anonymous information about how you use office for Mac is collected automatically so I don't want to do that I'm not gonna bother with registration just yet so continue Congratulations, you're now ready to use Office for Mac. So we're done. So we can close all of these and we get our applications down here. So Messenger, Document Connection, Remote Desktop, Outlook, Word, PowerPoint and Excel. Um, and that was the installation complete. So if I just quickly open Word uh, just to show you what it looks like in the new ribbon. So it's updating the font menu, so it takes a while the first time you open these, but after you've opened these applications once, uh, the font library will have built itself, so uh, they'll open much quicker. So I'm going to close this, don't want to bother exploring any of this. So we've got all of these templates, normal Word documents, Word notebook layout, um, so lots of templates we can go for. So I'm just going to go for a normal Word document template. And there we go. So it looks very similar now to the um, standard uh, Windows version. You've got your ribbon across the top here, which is nice. I must say I, I much rather prefer all of this over the uh, Office 2008, which I had previously. So if I quit Word, we'll have a quick look at Excel. So as you can see there, Excel opened much quicker. So that was literally the first time you opened the software. It took a while. So uh, again, you've got lots of templates. And again, Outlook, nice to, to have it full screen automatic. And you've got all your ribbon uh, options up here. So that's looking very nice there. And finally, we've got PowerPoint. Again, lots of templates, you've got to just choose any one of these. 
Uh, and one nice thing about this with the templates is you go you move your mouse cursor from left to right um, it actually shows you the slides within that template so that's a nice little touch so if I just click on any template here there we go again your ribbon so you've got all your other themes up the top here if you want to change so that's PowerPoint not going to bother saving that and finally we've got Outlook we'll come to Outlook where you can add or import settings if I'll close that for now and there we go Outlook again very similar to the uh, Windows version so hope you found that useful um, that was Office 2011 for the Mac